One of the new tools that's been available in uh, Mark Edit 6 is what's called the Mark Next. This is a research bench. Um, it's being made available for users to be able to test the bib frame concepts. Right now there are three tools that are available. One is the bib frame testbed, one is the JSON object viewer, and one is the linked identifiers. I'm going to talk specifically about the JSON object viewer here. So the JSON object viewer is a way for um, users to be able to view um, a specific set of data, uh, JSON data, um, and see it in its kind of object format. Um, the tool is able to um, view the information either from a local file or online. You'll see there's open, um, open or open URL. I'm going to go ahead and open um, from the file system. I went ahead and created two serializations. Um, the mark edit bib frame testbed has the ability to create two JSON serializations. One is called um, exhibit JSON and one is called uh, uh, just JSON. It's a non-exhibit type. Um, the reason for the two is uh, to show different ways of outputting the data in JSON formats. Um, this is the exhibit JSON part. You can see that mark edit when you open it generates a tree. Um, so that you can look at how the information relates together and see the various properties of um, said JSON object um, and be able to just kind of walk through it and find things in it and whatnot. Um, when looking at uh, the tool here, um, Mark Edit right now can only um, read the JSON exhibit file format. Um, the JSON file format is throws an error. Uh, one of the top level elements gets used more than once. Uh, so when you try and open it, you'll see here that um, there's an uh, I can't add a property. There's a property that gets used um, bibframe.org, vocab, authorized access point, um, name already exists um, on an object. So I'm not quite sure if this is a, an issue with the, um, the X query itself or if, the, uh, if there's another problem somewhere else. But um, anyways, this works locally. It also works, um, like I said, remotely. Uh, if you click open URL, you can go ahead and enter a URL to load. Um, so Mark Edit has the ability to do both. The idea behind this is to give people a little bit easier uh, tool to be able to read um, data that's been output using these kind of big frame concepts. Uh, obviously, opening up a an XML file isn't the most user-friendly form of uh, reading the 